Now then, welcome to another video. Apologies for the sound, it's probably a little bit echoey, it's because I'm in my dining room downstairs instead of my hobby room. Um, but I just wanted to quickly, um, before I um, show you my army, just show you the rules I'm going to be using. Um, so these are Soldiers of God um, from Artorius Games, uh, written by Warwick Kinraid, um, same author as Battle Group, um, X Games Workshop. Um, so a really period specific set of rules for playing out the Crusades, uh, battles in the Crusades. As it says on the front there, um, raids, battles and sieges of the Crusades. So all the rules for all three of those different types of uh, conflicts are in the, in the book. So, um, so the book, book itself, um, as you can see, full colour, really nice book. Uh, the only criticism we've got is... Could have done with a bit more proofreading. There's tons of spelling mistakes and stuff in there, but that's just a small quibble, really. And it doesn't affect the game, how the game plays or anything like that. So um, it's really good. Um, the whole system's driven by action cards. Um, so when you buy the, the rule book, you get a set of cards with it. Um, and these cards... You get a few blank ones, but um, you've got different things. So each, um, to activate your troops, you, you play a card. Um, there's all these different ones in here. So marching and charging. and There's lots of special things as well. Um, so you can either um, use it to advance, lose or retire, or you can play it on your Crusader forces with, a, with the uh, crucifix there. And it gives them bloodlust for that turn. And there's lots of um, period-specific flavour, and it all comes from the cards, really. Which is really good. Um, we've had one game of this it was quite a while ago as well, before the lockdown started. So, um, very keen to play it again. So, the game itself, yeah, uses the action cards. There's loads of um, examples and things in the book itself. Um, different plans that you have to choose before the battle. Uh, random events and all that sort of stuff. Um, section there on desert terrain, how it affects the battle scenarios. So you've got the field battle, you've got the raid, um, then you've got siege assaults, and the uh, specific rules for those. And then it goes on to the army list. So you've got a Saracen army list there, um, it explains all the different t uh, troop types and a summary. Of all the different types of infantry, or different types of troops that you ha can have in your army. Um, then there's the Crusaders. And online, there was also a Byzantine um, army list as well for Constantinople and, and, and those guys. Um, yeah, and then it goes into siege warfare, more specific rules for fighting out the sieges. And a few extra units there of um, siege equipment. So yeah, just really quick flip through. Um, bit on campaigns as well. How you can do like a ladder campaign. Um, some blank army rosters and then unit profile summaries for all the troops that you can play in the game. So you just print that off. Uh, photocopy it, print it off. Um, I believe it's on the website as well. You can actually download it. Uh, and then a fast play sheet on the back there as well. And usefully it has a an index so you can find stuff. Yeah, so really good, fun set of rules. Um, nice alternative to play in um, things like Hail Season and stuff, which are good as well, that I really enjoy. Um, but if you want a little bit more period-specific sort of character and flavour to your game, um, then it's well worth having a look at. And, and there's also Soldiers of Rome, um, which is a very similar system, obviously, for the Romans and their enemies. Uh, and I believe they're working on Soldiers of Napoleon as well, which will be interesting. Um, I think this system would work great for the Wars of the Roses, especially with the cards, all the different um, things you could put in there like treachery and bribery and and uh, family feuds and all that sort of stuff that you could put on the cards, it'd be great. But what we'll do now, I'll have a quick look at my army which I've just finished. Okay then, so um, I'll give you a quick overview and then we'll have a closer look at them. The way your army is organised, it's broken into three parts, or three battles, or divisions, however you want to say it. Um, so my first one is this uh, bunch of cavalry here, we've got all the um, 
Knights Hospital uh, and they're, they're back up there with some uh, Crusader Knights and then the main body of the army is all the infantry um, which I've got quite a lot of um, and then the third um, battle or division is this other cavalry block over here led by uh, King Richard but we'll have a closer look Okay then, let's just see if I can get this to focus and brighten up a little bit. I've got lamps set up everywhere, but it's still quite hard to get it to focus. Um, so, starting with them, we've got a unit of Turkopoles here, um, which were mercenary forces or um, Christian Armenians, I think, I believe. I could be wrong there, uh, but they provide a bit of uh, light cavalry, uh, bow-armed, but they've also got lances. Um, so they're good for operating on the flanks and supporting your, your troops. And we've got the first unit of Knights Hospitaller there. Uh, and the second unit of Knights Hospitaller just sat behind them. Or next to them, sorry. And they just sat behind them there. We've got a unit of Crusader Knights. Uh, and then the commander for the division here is Henry of Champagne. I think I spelt his name wrong, but never mind. Uh, which is there. So all these troops are based on 30mm 30 30 squares, um, which kind of works well for the 15mm. Uh, and all these miniatures, by the way, are Legio Heroica, 15mm figures. Um, moving on to the infantry, in the centre we've got um, a big unit of four crossbowmen, um, backed up by Knights Templar foot sergeants and... Knights Hospital foot sergeants, and then just to the rear of them there we've got the baggage element or the baggage train. Just a couple of pilgrims walking down a, a dusty road there. Um, if you've seen my video from a few years ago, I've shown you most of these figures before, but I have rebased them all uh, and added to it as you do, or as I do. Every time I rebase something I always add a load more troops to it as well. Um, another unit of crossbowmen, um, English foot sergeants and Flemish foot sergeants. And then at the back there, we've got a unit of um, archers and then the dismounted uh, command stand. Um, I need to think of a name for him. I just made his flag up, to be honest. Um, and then moving along, got more crossbowmen. Um, we've got French foot sergeants there, uh, German foot sergeants, and another unit of archers at the back. Um, moving along. Even more crossbowmen. We've got a unit of dismounted knights, and behind them there, oh, behind them there, we have two units of armed pilgrims. Um, and what I did, I mixed in a few um, foot foot sergeants with hand weapons, just to give them a little bit more variety. But a lot of them there, they've got um, axes and pick pick pitchforks and things like that. So I can get my words out there. Uh, yeah, but a few um, foot sergeants mixed in as well, just to make them look a little bit more interesting. Just so I've got this camera back now to apologise. Oh, it's going on again. Nightmare. Okay. Um, moving along then, we've got the Crusader Knights. So we've got one unit there at the front, um, another unit just sat behind, and then backing them up, we've got the Knights Templar, just a three stand unit of those. Um, another unit of Turkopoles on the end there and then King Richard the Lionheart leading those so overall as you can see it's gone out of focus but there we go I think um, quite a large army actually in 15 mil and this battle mat I've put them on is only uh, 4 foot wide um, but your average game of um, Soldiers of God you won't use all these I've got lots of options there. Once the weather improves, I can get out to my garage and get my big desert uh, set up. Um, or my big desert terrain set up, um, sorted out, and then we can play much bigger games. But um, during the winter here, it's freezing in my garage, so I've got this little mat. And I can uh, have smaller games in the kitchen, which is cool. Now that noise you can hear, by the way, is my dog. She's there under the blanket. What are you doing, Bess? <laughs> she's pretending she's not there. Yeah. So, 
that's it. That's that's the army. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. What are you doing? What are you doing under there, you? Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you up to? Hey, you all wet? Yeah, a little glitchy. I'll leave you alone. Okay.